We want to thank all of our patrons. Every little bit really helps, and we really appreciate your support. Yeah, y'all are great. Now, yesterday, now the other day when I unhooked the battery charger, I took a photo of what, how everything was hooked up, just as a triple reference. Um, so now I'm just looking at that, making sure all's correct. Oh. Now I gotta get into superior oh, boat yoga mode. Let's get down here and screw in these um, the leads from the AC to the battery charger. Now I need to run a grounding cable to it and then uh, hook it up on the panel. So this is the hot, or this is the, uh, yeah, the hot that's going to go to the battery charger. Okay, so I have the battery charger hooked up and the AC outlet hooked up. And then this is our shore power in. I've bundled them together. I've been using my P-Touch machine to print labels so I can label them. Tells me where they go. That makes things a lot easier later on when I got to mess with stuff. So now I just got to run leads from my battery charger to the batteries um, so that they can get the juice and... Uh, then we can get to work on the on the DC system. Firstly, the bilge pump. Okay, so we're in the Lazarette. I'm gonna hook it up a little different than it was hooked up. I had it hooked up like my battery charger has two outs, one for each battery. So you can hook them up so that they charge that way. But since I have this automatic charging relay, I feel like I should just hook it up to that and that adds an extra step of isolating the batteries from one another in case there's something ever fails with the um, charger it might drain one battery for the other so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just hook it up to the battery switch and um, then if you hook it up to the common it should then run through the automatic charging relay and then determine which battery needs juice and which doesn't. So uh, that's how we're going to hook it up and see if it works. So I went in the boat and I wired up the uh, hot lead and the ground lead that goes to the batteries and to the ground system. Here it is right here. I'll show you guys everything in there in a second. We're going to hook this to here and um, bolt it in and then uh, turn the uh, shore power on and check our voltage to see if our batteries are charging. Um, they should be, all should be well. So let's go ahead and uh, get that hooked up. And I'll get my P-Touch machine after I get this all dialed in and come back and label this that it goes to the charger. And I'll secure all my line, my uh, wires and everything after we know everything's happening.
how it needs to be. Okay, so that's going to the charger through our little, show you our gasket. So I did this old hose that I epoxied in. So we have these cable runs that can't, it won't chafe, you know, so this is like softer than the uh, bulkhead and, and uh, better solution. All right, let's go inside and um, go ahead and finish up our ground connection because now we know how, how long it needs to be and uh, see if the battery charger works. Okay, so we're back inside. My GoPro died, so we're gonna have to do this with uh, with this camera. Um, I got my uh, ground hooked up for the battery charger. I wanna go ahead and show you guys this. These are called drip loops. So if you have water running down this cable, it doesn't run into your connection here. It'll come and drip down here. So it goes lower than where your connection are. And anytime you can incorporate that, it's a good idea. So we got our shore power AC coming into there. And this is our single uh, charge going out to our common on our battery switch, which should then send it to the automatic charge relay and charge both batteries when they need to be topped off. Um, now let's go up here. Now we just got to screw in our ground. Okay, so we got our ground hooked up. <clears throat> we got our hot hooked up in the lazarette on the common. We um, have our battery charger hooked up. We have our shore power hooked up. We're going to go ahead and turn everything back on and see if our battery charger is working. And then we got to get that bilge pump hooked up because it's been unhooked for a minute. This is going to be hard to film because we're in this tight spot and I don't have the GoPro. But uh, we're going to do our best here. Now, the charger has the light on. we got the shore power on. It says that it's charging. Let's see what these batteries say. So to the starter battery, it says it's getting 14, so I know it's charging. And on the house, it says negative 13, so I don't know what that means. Maybe it's because of the charge relay, I have no idea. But um, I guess we'll just um, charge it, let it charge and see, what, see what's happening, you know? Maybe once the starter gets full, it'll jump over and charge this house battery. I don't know, time will tell. Okay, so everything seems good with that. We'll see next time we're here, we'll turn everything off and uh, test the voltage on the batteries. I don't have a battery monitor yet, so that's the best I can do. Now we gotta get to wiring a hot to the um, DC system so that we can get the bilge pump hooked up. So this is our hot that's run out there. It's too long now, so I'm going to go ahead and trim it. It's going to go to this breaker switch. That uh, So from the batteries in the house system, it goes here, and then from here to here, and then this will be like our main hot for all of our everything. So we'll go ahead and get this thing trimmed up. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the battery switch off to do that. Since I'm going to be cutting it and I don't want to unhook it. So now that's all sealed up. Now be careful where you set this butane torch, man. It'll burn you or gets gets plastic on it, all kinds of annoying stuff. Let's see, I think that's the wrong size. Yeah. 
Okay, now our hot's hooked up. And we're gonna come back after everything's said and done and get all of our wires fastened down where they need to be once we know everything's at the right length. Now we're gonna take that length we cut off and just make a little jumper here. Okay, made ourselves a little jumper. Sorry I'm in the way, this is tight quarters in here. And we go from our breaker guy. to our, now that's all, all of our uh, pots are gonna be hooked onto there. And I'll run a larger cable from here around to this other panel so that we have a, a hot bus over here too. Okay, turn our battery back on. I have this old light. We're gonna go ahead and see if we got got juice here. There we go. So we know we got juice, which is great. Put that cap on. That cap on. And uh now we're ready to get this bilge pump hooked up. Might have to hook it up temporarily. I don't know how much more daylight I got. The old switch panel. Got it all done. All, all unhooked. Shore power's hooked up. Battery chargers are hooked up. The bilge is temporarily hooked up, but our AC plug is hooked up. This here's steady, panting away if he's had a wild day. Uh, been a very slow but productive day.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time. Huh? huh? Crazy cave in here. Not fun, bro. The old switch panel. Oh.